Now, I'm not trying to be too alarmist here, because to be totally fair to Tony Khan and AEW, there is still time. There is still time. But I look at the watch that I'm not wearing, I look at the clock on the wall with the date on it, and I say, it's probably time to start getting to work here. All In is less than a month away, and this is shaping up to be the show of shows for AEW. I certainly argue that AEW-wise, equivalent to WWE, if you want to look at it from that perspective, that All In show has a chance to be their WrestleMania 3 moment. It really does. Like for AEW to go to London, to Wembley, and it looks like they're going to have 80,000 plus people. You know, 80,000 plus is still not 90,000. Find a way to shoehorn a couple of hundred, a couple more thousand in. <laughs> then that's what you do. But obviously, it's a big effing deal. That we're less than four weeks away, and this show looks like it's going to be a raging box office success. That is something I'm legit really, really excited about for the company, the talent, Tony Khan. Take that moment and make the most of it, and by God, enjoy it. However, we are less than a month away from All In. And we have exactly eh, matches announced for that show. Just think about that for a second. Zero matches announced. Not three. Not two. Not even one. Zero. Now, the show isn't this weekend. It's not tomorrow. There's still a few weeks. So there is still time. There is still time. However... It is time to get busy and start announcing some damn matches for that show. It really, truly is. Especially when you consider, and I don't know why they're doing it this way this year, because you have what the first All In show was back in 2018, and now you're shoehorning in this one in, in August of 2023, and then like a week later they're doing All Out. Like, why are we doing two massive shows so close to each other? You say one internationally, one domestically, I don't care, whatever. Like, that's a lot to do, right? You go a couple of months in AEW between pay-per-views, and then you've got two of them basically in back-to-back -back weekends. It's strange to me, but whatever. Hopefully they can pull it off. Hopefully they can make it work. That said, isn't there technically one more match announced for All Out than there is for All In right now? The TNT Championship? Yeah, there's still time left, but they've got to fix this. Tony Khan's got to start announcing some matches. Because the longer this goes, the more stupidity we're going to see in the run-up to All In. And certainly saw this over the past 24, 48 hours. And I understand we all have different opinions about wrestling and different things in life. And certainly everybody is entitled to opinions. Absolutely. Some opinions can be different but be very valid based off of the individual's perspective, experience, information that they have available, etc. You look at football and you say, I think the greatest quarterback of all time is Tom Brady. I think the greatest quarterback of all time is Joe Montana. I think the greatest quarterback of all time is Peyton Manning. It's hard to knock somebody too much if they threw out one of those three names, right? We might all have a bias or a leaning one way or another. But fundamentally, none of those three are bad opinions. And you're going to say, well, everybody's opinion matters and every opinion has val validity to it. No, there are really bad, stupid, dog shit opinions. Not every opinion is valid or important or worth validating. If somebody said to you that Jay Smokin' Cutler 
was a better quarterback than Peyton Manning. As much as I don't like Peyton Manning's playoff choking ass. Have I ever heard anybody said that? you goddamn right I'm going to clown him six ways from Sunday because that's not a valid opinion. That is fucking stupid. Who in the hell in their right mind would ever say that? So yes, everybody can have an opinion, but not every opinion is good or well-grounded. Which brings me to Bully Ray. This is what he said a couple of days ago. Yeah, it looks like it was. he said it on Saturday. He said, in my opinion... If I had a show that's still a month away with 77,000 tickets sold distributed, I wouldn't announce one match, not a single one. Keep the entire show a surprise. The anticipation for every match and entrance would be electric. Never been done. You know, this is exactly why Bully Ray respectfully Nobody would want you involved with booking a show trying to draw 70 plus thousand damn people. Because this, this right here, is one of the dumbest opinions I have heard in quite some time. Respectfully. I understand you're going, at, it's never been done. It's never been tried. And in an industry like professional wrestling, where so many of the things that we see are repetitive, where so many things have been done before, there is a certain type of appeal where you get that rare fleeting moment of hope that something truly is unique and original. That's fine. But connect the dots. La, 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 la. There is a reason that nobody's ever done this before. Because it is stupid. One thing, we don't know like how many you know ticket sellers, ticket scalpers, whatever you want to call them, bought tickets to All In and are still trying to sell those, and one way to incentivize people to go buy those tickets to actually fill the stadium is to tell them what matches to be anticipating, who they can see featured on the goddamn card. Even if you want to take that and say, hey, every single ticket sold is legit to a fan, fine, we'll go there. Then think about the audience that's not there that's watching at home. Less than four weeks away, why in the hell would I want to commit $50 to watch a show where I don't know a single person that's going to be on the card, a single match that is going to be on the card? This is basic promotional 101 shit here. And to make it so bad, it's one thing when a bully Reyes says this really, really bad opinion. Because Bully Ray has a platform and he has decades of experience which gives him a certain level of credibility that frankly in some ways he's earned. Some of his ideas are dog shit, but not every idea from everybody can be a winner. I have bad ideas, everybody has bad ideas. But the fact that this came from Bully Ray with a platform that he has meant that other fans were parroting this and starting to put this shit out there into the universe. No! You don't wait until the last goddamn minute, or not at all, to announce the wrestlers in the matches on the freaking show. Again, it's not just about the tickets you sell there. You also want to maximize the pay-per-view revenue you could get. You sell all out and just give the fans, and then they're like, well, what the fuck was this? Like, this is just really bad fundamental wrestling 101 shit here. And I have actually, believe it or not, confidence in Tony Khan that he's not that dumb. I know he's not. He knows better than that. He knows, and probably he'll start doing it this week, Dynamite, Rampage, Collision. You're going to start getting the real strong indications of what some of the matches could be and might get a couple of matches announced that it, the clock is winding, right? Like it's time to start getting to work, but there is still time to do so. But to sit there and suggest, well, it's never been done and that's a great reason to do it. <laughs> that's exactly why the hell you shouldn't do it. Sometimes the reason something's never been done is because it's really dumb. You've never had somebody on a wrestling pay-per-view that I can recall going to the middle of the ring, drop trial, and just drop a huge hulk of crap in the middle of it. You could say, well, that's never been done. The fans will never see it coming. But that doesn't mean that that makes for good business. 
I think Tony Khan is smarter than what Bully Ray is putting out there as his opinion, frankly. But it is time to get to work. When the hell are we going to start finding out what some of the matches are going to be? The show's only a few weeks away, for God's sakes. Not to mention the fact you got all out the next week.